So this is an example of one of the pieces of gel that we use to make up the battery. And as you can see, it's very soft and stretchable, just like jelly, really. And with about five of these stuck together, we can then make the hydrogel power source. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Through electronics, as we know, like our phones and our computers are very rigid. Whereas our body is mostly water, it's very soft. If we can imagine the brain is soft and stretchy. So what we try to do is make electronics soft and stretchy to be able to interface either inside our body or on our skin. And the way we did this was we made hydrogel materials that are ionically conductive. And by mimicking the electric eel, we were able to make a power source out of these hydrogel materials, which are both soft and stretchy sort of like our brains, which reduces any inflammation or scarring that the body may have. The ultimate goal is for us to implant these power sources inside someone's body, and then they can last over several days or weeks outputting power um, to power these devices, which can either continuously record or um, continuously act as therapy, um, for example, for things like deep brain stimulation, if we're trying to cure diseases like Parkinson's, we can do this by stimulating the neurons deep in our brain. Uh, and to apply the power, we can use these soft and stretchy power sources.